Oh, Leia! Leia was inside of her, her beautiful little art studio first thing in the morning. That was so cool! Good morning, Leia! And hello, everyone, and welcome back to Mossley Farm here in Stardew Valley, where I have really awesome amphibian fossils out on display. And it seems like Leia is wiggling into the kitchen to possibly take care of the plants. How are you this morning? Oh, no talking! No talking! Just lots of kissing! Okay, I'll accept that too. That seems kind of a cool way to start the day. And let me come up and check on our son, Rowan. He is still sleeping. Sleeping. Don't panic you guys. He's only seven days old So he will be walking crawling and eventually talking to us as the seasons go by All right, you guys let's cross our fingers and see if the weather report is going to give us a rainy day So we can catch the walleye fish the very last thing that we are looking for in order to complete the community center bundles That would be so awesome weather report says <gasps> yes! It's gonna be a storm tomorrow! Oh my gosh, yes! Okay, thunder and lightning expected. Storm approaching. You guys, there's a chance we could catch the walleye fish tomorrow! <gasps> I have to prepare. I have to get some fishing things ready. I need to make sure. I mean, I'm not even sure. I need to make, I need to craft some new lures. I need to be ready for these things. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what else do I need to do today? And the fortune teller says the spirits are mildly perturbed. And the queen of sauce says fruit salad. Here's a healthy and delicious treat to brighten up your day. The most important thing to remember is that you need ripe fruit. Forget the bland stuff they sell at the supermarket. I'm talking about fresh picked juicy bursting with flavor fruit. Okay. Now now watch closely. I just learned how to cook fruit salad too. Yay! It is a day of excitement. It is also Sunday, so I will have to go and check on the lady with the pig um, and see what she is selling. Maybe ironically, it's going to be a walleye. And we'll have to come back and we're going to have to make a few of the dishes and maybe even get some of the luck of the sea dishes that I know that will help me out with fishing. Um, like here's the dish of the sea. So I, I would need sardines for that. Gosh darn. I don't know if I can do that. Um, oh, and here's fruit salad. So blueberry, melon, and ap apricot would give you fruit salad. That apricot would be very hard to get our hands on. <laughs> Some of these things, the food is just so difficult to, to get. It just blows me away that there would actually be actually be characters who might want those. All right, anyway, let's step outside because it looks like um, Leia is going up to take good care of baby Rowan. We're gonna go ahead and gather up the bait. I'm going to see if the dinosaur den needs this heater. What else can I do down here? Looks like, uh, is everything watered down here? Did somebody, do I have a sprinkler taking care of those things? I don't remember, huh. Well, that's interesting. All right, well, we'll gather up these corn. So I'm gonna gather this corn up. It looks like we have some pumpkins growing from the mixed seeds that I put down and some artichokes too. I just love mixed seeds. You just never know what you're gonna get. It's so much fun. Let's go ahead and water these pumpkins. And look at that, we have so many cranberries and the amaranth is ready too. Happy days, this is gonna keep me busy today. I totally messed up on watering these plants. Oh my gosh, why? Why? Okay, focus Siri, focus. You're just all over the place. Okay, let's water these. And then we can gather up our daily apple. Oh, there's lots of things to gather up down here too. Looks like the, the wheat is ready to be harvested. So let me move some of these things around a little bit. And let's see. Yep, all of this wheat is ready to be harvested. I should have some new things I can plant. I will be back for, well, I might as well start gathering up the cranberries now, I suppose. So the cranberries are going to be really exciting because cranberries are one of the main ways that you make big money during this time of year. So we're going to gather up tons and tons of cranberries. I also know how to make cranberry jam now. I think somebody sent me that recipe. Was it Gus? Maybe it was Gus. I need to get Gus a lobster. I'm not exactly sure how I will get Gus a lobster, but I need to achieve this for him. Oh my gosh, look at all these cranberries. We're gonna have so much money. I love you sprinklers. Without the sprinklers, none of this would be possible. Like even remotely possible. And I may need to, I think I have a bunch of amaranth seeds waiting for me to actually get out of, no, 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 don't eat the cranberries. But I think I have a bunch of amaranth seeds waiting for me to fetch out of a chest up top. And let's see, and oh my gosh, look at all of them. This is so awesome. Harvest days are so fulfilling. And the artichokes are still growing. Oh, hey, sweet pea. How are you doing, sweet pea? Oh, and we need to work on getting some blue chickens at some point in the future too. All right, come on, sweet pea. You can hang out in the artichokes, but I gotta pick all the cranberries. And then let me go ahead and grab these. The bunny is moving through the amaranth right now too. <gasps> the bok choy is ready to be harvested as well. Hmm, I wonder how many of these I should stick inside of 
Oh, watch out. Okay, you guys need to get out of the amaranth when I'm harvesting it, just to warn you. It's not a safe place for bunnies and, and chickens. I'm very glad I didn't take off any feathers. All right, and here's my little boy chicken, Meteor. So Meteor is doing well. All right, need to water these. I love the different scarecrows too. Some of them are just so darn adorable. All right, let me gather up this and this and this and this. Okay, so we've got all the bok choy. That's a lot of stuff, you guys. We're gonna be able to plant so many things today. I'm really excited about that. I also have to see or sell so many things. I have to plant so many things. So let's rummage around and check what's inside of our seeds. Um, I, I mean, I have the amaranth and I have some bok choy and I have some yam and some mixed seeds and some wheat to kind of fill in the patches. I just wish I could get a little bit more. Uh, we'll start with those though. So let me sell what I've got and then we will start planting some seeds because I want to sell all of these. I think that it's going to result 126, 120 freaking six amazing amazing cranberries and that's just the normal ones too i'm gonna sell all of them because i just i have a good feeling about this all right and i'll go ahead and sell the fancier wheat not sure i mean i don't think it'll get me that much back but we'll try that out and then i will also come down and grind this wheat into flour even if it's just a teensy bit and then meteor is still playing inside of the plants all right so we also need to visit the lady with the pig today that is definitely something that needs to happen. And I'm just going to sprinkle these seeds and then we'll, we'll save the wheat seed for like last. And hey, Marigold, you need to get out of the way. Marigold, 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 scooch. Marigold, no. Oh my gosh, my hens. This is some of the issues that you can run into when you allow your, your hens to become so free range. Marigold, Marigold, there we go. Now I've got a little bit of room to roam. Okay, and then I'll come over. And I'll sprinkle the amaranth seeds this way. Okay, good. And I've got a couple left and a little bit of bok choy left. But yeah, I'm gonna need more seeds. So it may, be, it may behoove me to either make more or go and buy more. I'll have to look into it. All right, pop up here, grab this. Maybe I'll just go straight. Let's go straight to the lady with the pig just to see on the very funny off chance if she actually ends up having the walleye fish. I do think that would be kind of hilarious and I definitely need to get in here and clear away some of my pine tree forest so that I can actually get through my lands okay. Oh, hey, there's Jazz. Hey, Jazz, what you doing? Are you just wandering around? Did you know Shane's my godfather? He was a friend of my parents. Oh, Jazz, that's so sad. They died. Oh, Jazz. Oh my gosh, here, have a sunflower. I don't have anything else to offer her, but she I put a smile on her face with a big, beautiful sunflower, so that makes me feel a little bit better. Poor child. All right, and the lady with the pig is here. Uh, she's selling a barbed hook. Is that is that a hint, ma'am, that I need to use this barbed hook to catch the walleye tomorrow? I'm not going to buy it from you, that's for sure. All right, lobster bisque. <gasps> Ooh, I may actually buy this because it does give you plus three fishing and it is a secret family recipe of willies. I'm going to buy it, even if it's a little bit of a waste of money, just because I imagine I'm sort of distracted right now and super excited about the idea that I could possibly buy, that I could possibly catch the walleye and completely community center so we'll eat that and call it our lucky apple bisque tomorrow i'm going to grab the chanterelle and try to harvest up this hardwood without getting jumped on by too many slimes never really hurts to have extra hardwood and I'm very excited because I did find the mod that I have fallen in love with that does have these adorable deer that you can add in to Stardew Valley. I'm going to see if I can replace the pigs with that texture instead of the cows because the mod is originally made to replace the cows. But I like my cows. Primrose and Bluebell and all of the others. <gasps> what? It's a special fishy spot. What are you doing over here, special fishing spot? Do you have, do you have secrets to give me? Do you have treasure? No, that was too much. I caught a sloggy newspaper. That's definitely the opposite of treasure that I wanted. All right, that's still not the treasure that I wanted. All right, how do I... All right, there we go. I, I missed it because I forgot when the bobber goes doot doot, you're supposed to pull it up. All right, come on here. All right, didn't make it far enough that time. Let's try again. There we go. Oh, what? This is just trash. This is all just trash. This is supposed to be like a super sacred pond thing. Why is it all just trash? Is this just gonna be, I don't think this is gonna be the most thrilling of fish chases. Wee! what do we get? 
Ooh, it's a whole carp. All right. Well, at least it's not half a carp, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. If it's just gonna be a carp again, I think I'm good. Thank you, fish. Thanks for trying. Thanks for playing. Oh my, all right. Well, last time, third time's the charm. We'll see if this is something special or not. Nope, nope, we're pretty, we're pretty sure this is just gonna be, yep, okay then, another carp. Well, you know what? It's nice to have an easy source of fish now and then, I suppose. I'm getting my skills sharp for tomorrow, um, but this is mostly trash, so I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> All right, and let's see if I can go down to oh the little bluebirds are over there. They're so cute And I'm gonna pop over here. Where did my there's my axe. Oh, I wonder if I should upgrade my axe sometime soon There's an idea. I could probably be upgrading some of my tools and I do want to be going and working inside of the mines more often uh, Watch out little slime. I just don't I don't like attacking the slimes. Bye, little birdos. I don't like attacking the slimes for no reason when we're going through the caves. Or when we're going through the forest there. But we're going through the caves. That's different business. All right. Bye, Jazz. Hopefully that sunflower cheered her up. Poor thing. Having to think about her dead parents. All right. Let's go search. Oh, hey, Abby. Always. Why? I have so many people. I broke their hearts. Hey, Mayor. Are you doing your best on the farm, Siri? You'll have to accomplish things in many areas if you want to become a well-rounded citizen. I reassure you, sir, I have been doing an excellent job, at least in my opinion. I believe I'm doing my best, so I have a lot of trash today to put inside of my- <gasps> I got so excited thinking that was a lobster, because then I could have given it to Gus for his quest, but um, I have accomplished quite a bit, in my humble opinion. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Now let's go search trash cans. That's how well-rounded of a citizen I am. I am going to go dig in people's trash cans now, searching for fish. I'm sure this will end, like, perfectly fine. Darn, I haven't found anything in anybody's trash for a while now. All right, let's come down here. There's Emily, there's Harvey. I'm friends with everybody in town now, except for Penny. <laughs> except for that bit of a, a bit of a mistake with Penny. And I need to be Sandy's friend. I need to give gifts to the, uh, oh, Krobus! Oh, too bad I didn't get the void egg. I should have given that to him today. And I still need to be friends with Haley and Kent and a little bit more with Gus, but some escargot will fix that. But I think there's like a special achievement you can actually get for being uh, big, big friends with everybody, craft every item, catch every fish. Uh, I do need to complete more help wanted things so that I can be really, really nice. Ship every item, complete the museum collection. Oh wait, did I already get all of the things that have anything to do with being friendly to everybody? I think so, I think popular, reach five heart level with uh, 20 people. Yeah, I've already gotten all of the achievements that have to do with being friends with everybody in town, so I'm on top of that. Yeah, he's selling void eggs. Krobus, is that why you get so excited when I bring you void eggs? You're going to turn around and sell them for a profit? Is that the kind of relationship we have here? And here I thought I was giving you a gift. A gift, I say. I just, I feel so betrayed right now. Not not quite, though. I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do. It's another little fish spot. Okay, I'm not going to be lured in today. Haha, <laughs> do you get it? Lured in. But we'll work on that another time for sure. Um, like tomorrow, if they can do those fish spot things in the river tomorrow. Oh man, everybody's, everybody, like literally everybody in town is just crowding around right now and all they want to do is dig in their trash. Gosh darn. All right, well, we'll have to wait on that. Is Pierre's closed now? It's Farmer Siri. Hey, Pierre. I do need to buy a few more things from you. Um, what do I want to buy from him? More bok choy? Uh, let's see. Hmm, more amaranth? I think the amaranth sells for quite a bit. I just I have a nagging feeling that it does, but I can't remember if that feeling is justified or not. So do I want to sell artichoke instead? Because I think artichoke actually, they take just as long as to grow and they, they give you a good output too. Hmm. Cranberries I've got lots of already. Yam seeds take so many days to mature. Now there's the flip side of things. I do have enough time to plant things like yam seeds right now. Maybe I should be going for the long game at this point with some of these items. Like maybe some more pumpkins? Pumpkins I could always use more of. Um, I do have a lot of pumpkins though. Hmm. I overthink these things. I'm going to grab a bunch of yam seeds. And I think that'll do me good. And I'm going to grab... Just a few more artichoke seeds. I think that'll do me good too. 
So we'll just, we'll start there and maybe a few more amaranth seeds. I just have this nagging feeling that they're really, really good for some reason. And I'll sell my spice berry jelly straight to the source. I think that'll be a good thing to do. All right, and let's head out. I do also want to try a mod uh, once we get like the community center and everything done that actually it will allow you to work on a cooking skill and it will allow the things that you cook to have different rankings and even provide, oh my gosh, look at all these wild plums, and even provide a little bit more money. I don't feel like there's a lot of monetary return on what you cook right now uh, for how much like effort it takes and how hard some of the, uh, the resources are to snag. So I'm really excited to see, look at all my chickens. I'm really excited to see if the cooking mod would make it so that cooking became one of the main ways I tried to earn my money. Cause that sounds like it could be a lot of fun. All right. So I'm going to put away, dun, 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 uh, this oak resin, and then I need to put away the hardwood. I'm going to put that in Leia's room because she really enjoys all these different woods. She uses them in her art. So I like the idea that I, I bring her lots of pretty art and lots of pretty flowers that she can work with. And let's see, we'll put this away. And that's a lot of hardwood to work for in the future. And I need to stick some of these things in my recycling bin, some of them in my kitchen all over the place. Maybe I could even have a little shed or a little display somewhere for all my chanterelles. There's quite a few of them now. Um, hmm. And what else do I need to work on today? I need to go see if Robin is actually visiting. And I think I want to work on trying to clear my farm just a tad more too. Oh my, there's plenty of room in here. All right, we'll put this away. I need to find where I'm putting all of these these itty bitty little apples. I keep forgetting where I stick everything because I have so many things, you guys. There's just so much stuff everywhere and I, I just never know how to cope with all of it. I need to sort it better. I wish these chests were bigger, but they're not. All right, and there's the apples, thank goodness. All right, so let's get out of here. We've still got a little bit of time left in the day. I miss mining. I miss mining. It's starting to get to me. We'll go mining soon. All right, and let's drop these into the recycling bin and we'll visit that later. And we'll put the rest of the seeds in. We'll go visit the animals. And then that will have been a pretty full day, actually. <laughs> a pretty full day of running around and tending to a whole bunch of different different aspects of the farm. Yeah, I think we'll try clearing out some of the... Yeah, we'll try clearing out. Dun, dun, dun. And then uh, I think I'll do artichoke, actually, for any of the other empty spots. Wonderful! And then I've got a few more seeds saved for tomorrow when I have more things to gather. But yeah, we'll, we'll try clearing out some of the trees, too. That's what I was trying to say. Let me go ahead and take care of the cows and the goats. And they've been eating my grass. I need to buy more grass and put more grass in here. ASAP. Uh, oh, and look, there's Robin. She's working on the interior of the barn. Yay, we're going to have a deluxe barn soon. All right, so there's that. Come on. Hi, guys. All right, there we go. Large milks everywhere. Bluebell is trying to sleep. Yes, I can still I can still gather their milk even when it's like late at night. I wasn't sure about that. Everybody grew up so quickly. Oh, and I need to start saving the goat milk because apparently goat milk is another thing that Sandy really loves. So I can definitely hang on to that. And look at that, more ancient fruit wine. Fantastic. So I'm going to toss. I do need to get more, more kegs so I can just make tons and tons of ancient fruit wine. It is worth so much money. So I do need to toss some of those in there. And then I will save the normal milks. And I'll turn the really fancy pansy milks into fancy cheeses. Bye, everybody. And now it's time to go visit my dinosaurs. So we're going to wander down here. And I love how we have a little campfire just constantly burning down here. And I'm going to check on my dinosaurs. They have laid me one whole dino egg. And they actually don't have a heater. So this is going to work out really well. I'm going to put a little heater right over here next to their little incubator. And they should be very happy. So they're all trying to sleep, so I won't bother them. All right, and we will work. <laughs> I'll tuck the dinosaur egg out of the way. I love the kinds of things that I can collect from my farm. Dino eggs of all things. And I'll come over. I'm gonna clear away some of the trees. Some of these, a lot of the ones along here look like they may turn into, um, they may turn into the mushroom trees. So I'm gonna leave those alone. Maybe a mushroom tree is actually spread amongst each other. I'm not sure. This looks like it could be a mushroom tree, so I'm gonna leave it alone. But I'll, I'll take out some of the big guys over here to make room for some of these incoming pine trees. There we go. 
And I'll take out some of these little these little saplings so I can get around a little easier. Let me go ahead and get rid of this stump. And there we go. All right. I'm trying in my own way to keep my farm my farm pretty tidy and organized. All right, there we go. And then I need to be careful. Those are all, yeah, it looks like there's another, this looks like another um, mushroom tree coming in. How, I might actually finally get to the point where I have to ask myself the question of how many mushroom trees is enough? The answer usually for me is never, never too many, but it actually is starting to get to be too many. And I'll clear this out of the way. Okay, there we go. Give those small pine trees a chance to come in. And I might need to start pecking away at the pine forest to my left too. There we go. And let's see, these, this big guy too. They grow so quickly that it makes more sense to take out the big ones and then just harvest, harvest the expanding forest that constantly pops up. In fact, I can probably come in and take out this big, big guy. And I promise you, all the little ones around him will take his place pretty soon. Whoops, took out a little one. Unless I cut them all down. But I also plant the pine cones pretty often as well. All right, there's that. And then I can go ahead, sprinkle this with pine cones, come back and harvest them in a while. It's a good renewable source of wood. And I need a lot of wood if I'm going to get the cellar in the future too. All right, I think this is a good use of my time. It just feels so surreal. <laughs> oh, it feels so surreal after having worked so hard to achieve so many things. And then now I actually get to turn my mind towards just doing some of this maintenance work on the farm. All right, let me go ahead and clear this away. And I'm going to come straight down. Wow, why is this so relaxing? That's the other secret, you guys. I actually find this super relaxing <laughs> to be able just to work on clearing away some of the trees for a minute. It's kind of like mining is, is super relaxing in its own way, too. And I do hope to be doing a lot more mining soon. But I definitely need to get this quest with the pig, the truffle pig, out of the way soon, too. All right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. All right, enough of me being silly and poking around. I know a lot of you actually really love to see how much money we have made at the end of every day. So we're gonna go ahead and wiggle our way back up towards Rosestone and clear that out of the way. All right, let's see, there's Rosestone. And we will wiggle our way inside. I didn't even check, the <laughs> there's so many things I didn't check, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. And anything else I wanna try to sell at the last minute? Not really. I mean, I could sell the dinosaur eggs, but it's kind of fun to see how many I can collect instead. And we'll go inside, throw a few things away. There's noodle doodles hiding up top. And then that completes another busy day on the farm. I hope I did the right things. Let's go to sleep. And how is our money? <gasps> Not bad. Not bad at all for one proper harvest of cranberries. I like it, you guys. Look at all of that. 10 gold just from one pile of cranberries and the amaranth I think is okay on the income we're pulling in from it. it looks like you get for silver pardon me for a silver star it looks like you get about 200 gold so that seems to be going pretty good all right well tomorrow is going to be a very exciting day since we are actually going to be working on getting the very last fish that we need to complete the community center bundle that is a huge deal it is almost a year in the making and i'm very excited to be able to share it with you guys so i'll see you then bye bye <laughs>